guys, welcome back to our channel. Okay. So we are doing another easy crock pot recipe for you guys. Okay. So if you would like to see what we're cooking, then stay tuned and we'll get right into today's video. All right, so we're gonna do another easy crock pot recipe. So tonight we're gonna use these chicken meatballs. I know we've shown these before. Um, we always do them a different way. So what we're doing tonight, I don't know if we've ever done this and I certainly don't think we've ever filmed it for you guys. Yeah. So we just get these at Trader Joe's. Um, the package varies. So you usually get anywhere from like 12 to 16 meatballs. And I believe these are like under five bucks. Um, I really like them because they're fully cooked, fully cooked. They're safe for gluten free and they already come seasoned. So you literally do not have to do anything to these. Just yep. put them in your crock pot. You could do them on the stove top if you wanted to. I love them. All right, and then we're gonna do mashed potatoes. So we're making mashed potato bowls. Um, so we're using the mashed potatoes that we've gotten. We get these at Costco, I've talked about them. Um, <clears throat> so you get two of these and it's like $7.99, I think. You can do these in the microwave. I don't do them that way. I don't know, I just like them fresh. So I will usually do them like on, in a saucepan on the stove and then I'll add like a little bit of butter and they literally taste like homemade mashed potatoes. We have these for Thanksgiving and nobody knew the difference. I mean, they're so, so good. So a well, good a good they cheat. Might not. Well, they might know if they're watching this, but anyway, a good cheat. All right, and then we're gonna top it with just some Campbell's turkey gravy. Um, we just had this leftover from Thanksgiving. So yeah, yeah we're kind of just using just what we have because we need to go grocery shopping. Um, during Thanksgiving, we dog sat for like five days yeah. or something like that. So yeah, well, it was like a long weekend, you know, for the holidays. So we just haven't grocery shopped or anything. So anyway, yeah, we're kind of using what we have and we're gonna make mashed potato bowls. So anyway, I'm gonna flip my camera around set up my crock pot and we're gonna cook this together. Um, I did wanna hop on and give you guys just a pointer on those mashed potatoes, if you were gonna freeze them. So because they're so big, um, when we buy them, if I don't think I'm gonna use them like immediately, I freeze both of them um, just cause there's so much in there and there's only two of us. So I just freeze it until like we're ready for it. Um, so I will say like, they get really frozen. Um, so we basically had to stick it in the fridge. So we wanted to have this for dinner yesterday. And at the time that I was gonna go get dinner going, they were still like frozen solid. Um, and they had been out for a good five, six hours. So I would say take them out like a full day before you wanna use them so that they get nice and thawed out because you can like, you can thaw them out in the microwave a little if you want to before you cook them. but. I just don't like them that way. It almost like dries them out and they're not like as creamy. So anyway, that's my pointer on the mashed potatoes. Now we're gonna get into cooking. Okay, so this might be weird. You're gonna hear me, but my face is not on the camera, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my crock pot off until I'm ready to start. Um, so we just have a basic crock pot that does like the off, low, high, and warm. I know you can get the kind where you can like set it and set your time. I don't have one of those um, because I wanted a crock pot on a budget. So I got this one at Target. I want to think it was like $29. It was under $30. Um, I will make sure to link it below because I, I believe they still sell it because I linked it a couple videos back for you guys. So yeah, I will link it in the description if you um, are interested. Um, I was telling a friend of mine, you can absolutely do crock pot meals on a budget because she was saying she didn't have a crock pot. Again, this was under $30 and we use this all the time. I love this thing. So I always start by spraying my crock pot with this Chosen Foods avocado spray. Um, the reason I do this is because I just find that like after the meal is over, when we're going to clean the crock pot, um, this just helps everything not, not stick to your crock pot. So this is what I do. If you had a different spray you like, you could do that. This is just what we like. I get this in a two pack at Costco. Um, but I have seen this spray at like Target and stuff as well. So I just spray the sides really good and the bottom. And you don't have to go crazy just so it's coated. All right. And then I'm going to take my meatballs. Let me see. They're not open yet. So let me pause and open my meat. Okay. So I have my meatballs open. So I'm just going to dump them right in there. Like I said, these are pre-cooked. So you don't have to even brown them or anything. I would say if you were going to do this recipe... Um, but use like raw uncooked meatballs. I would probably brown them a little bit first and then put them in your crock pot so you're not doing like raw with all your other things. If that doesn't bother you, you could do that. I just, that would bother me. Okay, then like I said, we're gonna use this turkey gravy. 
Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my crock pot so it can marinate with my meatballs. So I'm just going to pour it right over everything. Perfect. Um, typically if I do like canned stuff, I'll add a little water for the gravy. I just don't feel the need to do that because I want everything to simmer really good and I don't want to water it down or like lose flavor. So I'm not going to do that. I'm probably not going to add salt or pepper or anything. Okay. I wanted to turn my camera around really quick for this part. So I don't want this to take like very long to cook. Typically if I was simmering something all day, I would start on low and then just kind of check it throughout the day. But this I'm doing kind of as a last minute thing. So I am going to put my crock pot on high. Um, and then I'm going to check it in about 30 to 40 minutes, kind of see where it's at, stir it, make sure my gravy's okay. And then typically what I'll do is if I feel like it's pretty hot already, then I will switch it to warm and let it cook for like another 30, 40 minutes or until we're ready to sit down and eat dinner. So that's where we're at. And then I'll probably come back on and show you how I do the mashed potatoes in just a little bit. Okay, my 30 minutes is up. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, look at that gravy and those meatballs. Let me turn my timer off. Hold on. Okay, sorry. We have that kind of timer that will just keep beeping at you until you tell it to stop. Okay, so I'm going to stir these. Oh my gosh, they smell good. They look so, so good. All right, so now I'm going to see. Give me just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I needed to get something to put my spoon on. So I'm going to see how hot it feels. Okay, it's not very hot at all. Um, so I actually am probably just going to leave it on high for about another 30 minutes and then I'll just check it. Um, you probably, like I said, you could absolutely let it simmer if you were doing this earlier. I just waited later in the day to start dinner just because since these are pre-cooked, they just don't need very, very long. So I'm going to set it for another 30 minutes and then we'll see where we're at after that. All right, I'm just chilling, waiting for the timer to finish. I wanted to tell you about, tell you guys about this show that we started watching on Netflix called Best Leftovers Ever. There's only one season on there so far. Um, it's really, really good. So every episode they'll have, I believe, three or four cooks. There's only two rounds and, um, it basically consists of them having to take leftovers from things and turn it into a meal. It's really fascinating. Like the things these people come up with, I'm like, I could never, how do people do it? But yeah, it's on Netflix. So if you're looking for just a good show to watch, check it out. It's really funny. Um, the judges and the host are all really funny as well. It's just entertaining and a good show to watch. Um, so the person that ends up doing the best, um, makeover on the leftovers wins I believe like ten thousand dollars I don't know it's pretty cool so each episode is only two rounds and at the end of round two they pick the person that was the best and they name a winner so yeah check it out best leftovers ever on Netflix really cute show okay so we have about a minute left on the crock pot so I'm gonna go ahead and get my mashed potatoes going so remember it's just these um so I just do it like in a sauce pot you could do whatever works for you so I'm gonna take my um plastic off here you do have to be careful, especially if you defrost them, um, just because there's a lot of liquid, you know, from it melting or whatever, but that's okay. All right, and then I'm going to see if I can just flip them into here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a utensil to stir these with. Uh, let's see, let's we'll use this. Okay, um, I am gonna start my burner on high just because our um, meatballs are gonna be done. There's our timer right now. I'm not gonna worry about checking them. I'm just gonna reach over here and put it on low and just let it do its thing. Okay, so I wanna show you guys this. So I don't know if you can tell that they're a little like dry looking just because we froze them. Um, so that is why I do them here because the couple times that we tried microwaving them like they say you can do, they just weren't nice and creamy like mashed potatoes should be. So I feel like every time we do it this way on the stove, they come out way better. I'm sorry if I'm cut off. I'm also trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just going to stir them up, get that liquid going, just kind of get everything blended. Um, you could add like salt and pepper to these if you wanted to. I like them how they are. So I, we don't usually do anything, especially because we are going to eat those meatballs and gravy right over this. So for that reason, I'm not going to bother, but you could if you wanted to. All right, so I'm just gonna let them cook a little bit. Um, and then when they're done, we use a little bit of this um, <clears throat> country crock plant butter with avocado oil. Um, I love this because it is dairy free. 
and I try not to have a lot of dairy. And this butter is just really, really good. Um, they also have one with almond oil, I think, but we always get the avocado one because I don't know. The, the almond one is fine. I just like the avocado one. It's just really good. So that's what we get. Um, and then this meal will definitely feed us again because like I said, there's about 12 to 16 meatballs and then we will not get through all these mashed potatoes. So that's nice because we can pack it up and we'll have leftovers for tomorrow, which is great. Um, so in the last cooking video I did, I popped in like prices of everything just so you could kind of see um, what it cost versus like how much food we got. Um, so I don't know if you guys like that, let me know in the comments below. I don't do it for every video. I just don't know if people like that or not. Um, but I just feel like meals like this are very cheap. So this butter, if you wanted to buy this butter, which you, I always say in the videos, like this is just what we use. You don't have to get this. This is just what we like. These are, I believe these are like four something. It is a little on the pricey side, but it's really good. And like Publix recently, right before Thanksgiving, did them BOGO. So when they're BOGO like that, um, we'll grab like three or four sets of them. Well, that, that's probably a little bit much. We probably don't buy three or four, but I think we did buy like two sets. So that's like four of these total. And I'll just freeze them because BOGO is a really good deal for this butter. So there's that. That's under $5. Those mashed potatoes, like I said, are... Um, like seven ninety nine at Costco and you get two that are this size. <clears throat> I would say like for my husband and I, there's only two of us. So we'll get like four meals out of this. Um, if you had a family of four, maybe that'd be, it, it just, just depends on how many of your people you're feeding. Um, and then the meatballs, you get 12 to 16. I say that because every pack varies. They're not always the same. And those are also under $5. So and that can of gravy was maybe a dollar or so. Um, so yeah, super, super cheap, easy, throw it in your crock pot, and then you'll have leftovers too. And like I said, that crock pot, you can get at Target for under $30. And I'll make sure to link that because I'm pretty sure you can still get it on the Target website. So yeah. Um, I'm going to pause, keep stirring these, and then when we come back, I will probably show you us plating our dinner. So yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I just wanted to say the other thing when you're cooking these, especially if you're using ones that you previously froze, I sit here and pretty much stir the whole time, um, just so you can make sure like they all get whipped really good because otherwise you'll get like dry spots in there. So yeah, anyways, just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so my mashed potatoes are pretty much done. I went ahead and stirred my butter and I just wanted to show you guys. So I just used like a sauce pot. This is about how many mashed potatoes it makes. So yeah, it makes a decent amount. And like I said, they're just, they're really, really good. So yeah. Um, I think everything is ready. We're going to plate it up and then we will come back to taste on camera as always. So yeah, we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, it's done. Look how good it looks. So we had, I think like 16 meatballs, right? Mm -hmm. We had enough to put four in each and then we just did. So I just kind of spread the mashed potatoes on the bottom on both of them. And then we did our gravy and then we went ahead and put our lunch for tomorrow in the fridge. So that's ready to go. So now we're going to taste. Maybe I'll see if I can it's get it. Yeah, it's probably really hot too. Some gravy and some mashed potatoes. Ready? Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mmm. That was a great meal for however much. How much was it? I'm thinking twenty to twenty-five dollars at most. Not mm -hmm. bad at all. And like I said, we already have lunch in the fridge for tomorrow, which I love that. It was good. Yeah. I would definitely make this again. It's a nice mashed potato bowl. Really good. Um, yeah, I like it. I really like those meatballs because, like I said, they're already pre-seasoned. So that flavor just makes really good with the mashed potatoes. Um, because the meatballs are seasoned and we were doing the gravy, I didn't do anything to the mashed potatoes except add about a tablespoon of that butter that I showed you. And that was it. The mashed potatoes are so creamy. I'm telling you guys. If you need a quick mashed potato and you don't want to take the time to boil your potatoes and all that, check these out. Oh, they're good. I'll find them and link them below. I think the brand is like Market something. I can't think of it right now and we don't have the cover because when we put our cups... Oh, we do? Yeah. Will you grab it? I thought we got rid of it because sometimes we'll like throw that away. Um, but I want to show them to you guys. They're really, really good. So we get them at Costco, but I believe I've seen these at Publix. Main Street Bistro. Main Street Bistro. It's all icy. It's this. Um, so we get them at Costco and you get two 32 ounce trays. Um, so they're each about two pounds, which is why we get multiple meals out of them. 
But like I said, that's because we're only feeding two of us. It would just depend on like how many people are in your family and who you're trying to feed. But yeah, if you need a quick mashed potato, you add that butter. Uh, to me, you can't tell that you didn't like spend hours making them. I mean, they're really good. Yeah. Right. So anything you want to add? No. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed another easy crock pot recipe. I love doing these videos. They're honestly some of my favorite to film. It's just fun. Yeah. I have to cook anyway, so it's fun to cook and share it with you guys. And I hope that it inspires you to try new easy meals. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And with all of that being said, remember, you, you can, can call, call us the Kents. Kents.